Hello and welcome to this session on how MSSPs and distributed enterprises can easily scale global operations and policy management across multiple tenants. But first, let's do a quick recap of the key concepts. With Capture Client 3.5, MSSPs and distributed enterprises are turbocharged to drive efficiencies and enable significant scaling of operations across multiple tenants, covering everything from quickly onboarding sites and customers, driving actionable intelligence, gaining flexible policy control, and leveraging global visibility to quickly respond to issues. As you will remember from a previous session, the most important feature that's introduced with Capture Client 3.5 is that of scope. Scope refers to the context in which we gain visibility and carry out operations. This could be at an account, tenant, or a group level, for which we also have dashboards at the account and tenant levels where you can choose to see the data for an account for each tenant or the summary of the data for the groups within tenants. This also introduces a hierarchy of how policies are inherited across scopes. At the highest level sits the accounts, whether it's the custom account that an MSSP or a distributed enterprise may manage, or it's a default account that SonicWall manages. Policies defined at the account level are typically a default or baseline policy created by the account owner. Tenants can inherit policies from accounts and groups can inherit policies from tenants. Let's take a look on how we can gain visibility and manage policies across accounts and tenants. When we log into Capture Client and navigate to the account scope, we see the account dashboard. The most actionable intelligence is available in the tenants table that lists all tenants within this account with key indicators of threats or issues for each tenant. Note that if you click on the scope selector, you will also see the ability to navigate between the account and the tenant scopes from the dashboard page. The tenants table can be expanded to show stats for hundreds of tenants, including infected devices, unresolved threats, vulnerable applications, offline endpoints, and any other devices that have pending updates. At the account scope, admins can also drill down to see more data across the key functions like analyzing threats, reviewing applications and their vulnerabilities, monitoring devices across tenants, or even configuring policies at the account level. We also support monitoring web activity and generating reports at the account scope if that is desired. The global dashboard also provides additional intelligence, including which tenants have the most content filtering activity, what versions are they running on all the tenants, this will start lighting up once multiple tenants become active in our account. Let's now take a look on how policies are configured at an account level and how they propagate to the tenant scopes. As you may remember, there are seven policy types that can be configured for each scope. Client, Threat Protection, Trusted Certificates, Web Content Filtering, Blacklist, Exclusions, and Device Control. Each policy can be inherited or customized at the tenant scope. Let's look at how this works for threat protection. As you can see, we are making a change to the policy mode options at the account level. And when we navigate to the threat protection policy for the tenant scope, we noticed that inheritance is enabled because of which the change automatically propagated to this tenant. As long as inheritance is enabled, any change at the account level will be automatically propagated to inheriting tenant. Note that with inheritance turned on, the policy cannot be edited. For this, inheritance has to be disabled, which allows customization of the policy. Here's another example with exclusions. Remember that exclusions are inherited by default. So as we create new path-based exclusion at the account scope, when we navigate to the tenant scope, we'll see it automatically applied there too. This will allow account administrator to exclude common applications across their customer base, like regionally popular applications 
or a common backup application they have deployed across the tenants. But with exclusions, you can also create tenant specific exclusions. We hope that was helpful. Do stay on and review other sessions we have that talk about how Capture Client 3.5 will significantly improve the user experience of managing endpoint security.